Irish fighter on foreign soil as Anthony Crawler embarks on this so-called Mission Impossible. How does he go about it? He's been sparring with Southpaws like Frankie Gavin and Jazza Dickens. He's had it tough in camp, but this is levels above. This is one of the great fighters of the last 10, 20 years in Lomachenko, who just seems to be getting stronger and better, and he wants more. Yeah, he does, Adam. He's improving all the time, Lomachenko. Which is a problem for Corolla, but corolla has got to expect the unexpected here. He's got to not get frustrated. You know, he's got to try different things out. He's got to have a game A, a game B, a game C. And I'm sure Joe Gallagher, who's a great tactician, would have worked on all these sort of things. And, um, yep, he's just got to see how he goes. He's got to go out there and enjoy this. Yeah, he's got an, an extremely tough task, but I think one of the keys will be to try and land some body shots. We've seen how good of a body punch a crawler is to try and slow Lomachenko down, but it's just trying to trying to land shots when Lomachenko's static. But, he, you know, he moves round you, he's got angles in abundance, and he's a great fighter. And uh... Already springing in and out. Beautiful footwork, Lomachenko, and he judges distance so perfectly. Faints a great deal as well and surprises you like a cat from all angles. The reflexes, terrific. Crawler with that high guard and knows he's going to have embarrassing moments in there, but they have worked on that through camp. And I think it's a matter of getting through the first three or four rounds and trying to utilize some of those body shots and if anyone in any way he could put some sort of pressure on Lomachenko because Salido did show the way that if you can out hustle him and smother him a bit like maybe Castillo did with Mayweather you know and just take the fight to him it's whether Corolla's physically strong enough and whether he punches hard enough yeah not really Corolla's style unfortunately Corolla likes to move around the ring circulating around the perimeter of the ring picking shots like that the shots through the middle I think for Corolla I think his biggest opportunity here is Darren hit the nail on the head he needs to switch the attacks to the body and try and slow the attacks of Lomachenko down because you're right Adam the timing is impeccable from Lomachenko the way he moves his feet in and out is something that we've never seen before and um it's special it's beautiful to watch crawler is a good tactician though and has got plenty of skills he had to to get to where he has and he won that fight against dowd your down to become the mandatory some people have said he doesn't deserve the chance disagree did everything asked of him beat ricky burns as well now he's got to find a way of fathering out the Massive puzzle in front of him. Good lad. All right, he might come a little bit more now. Joe Gallagher guiding Anthony Crawler through. He's a good man to have in the corner, isn't he? And he knows Anthony so well. Yeah, he certainly is. And he broke that down beautifully, if I'm honest. The, 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 the um, information that he was passing on to Crawler there was perfect. You know, he's got to stay tight. He's got, you know, he's got... Be, be careful of those body shots, those straight left hands through the middle. And he's got to try and counter punch Lamachenko as he comes in. But timing is the importance here. Second round for the former world featherweight, world super featherweight, and current and reigning world lightweight champion Vasil Lamachenko. Fight number 14 for the 31 year old who was one of the most outstanding amateurs there has ever been. In with Anthony Crawler, decent amateur. But uh, has achieved more as a professional, has lost six times. Most worryingly, that uh, defeat at British level when he was stopped by Derry Matthews. But how he has rebuilt and learned from there. And it uh, shows how much a fighter can improve from roughness early on. That the loss to Yusuf Al Hamidi, the ice cream salesman and journeyman. You'd never <laughs> believe. He went from Yusuf Al Hamidi to Vasil Lomachenko. Well, look, it's what you take from defeat and what you learn from it. And Crawler's learned lots from his defeats. And um, 
it was uh, a privilege to watch him win that world title but again he's up against it here and he's in a position now where I don't want to see him I don't want to see him getting pushed back and backed up into the corner to allow Lomachenko to, to pick the shots you've got nowhere to move and you're on the road to in the corner so he's got to try and double up his attacks try to try and push Lomachenko back and try and get him in the corner or on the ropes but you know it's a, a very difficult task when you're fighting someone who has the foot movement and the foot speed that Lomachenko does. Yeah, Lomachenko's controlling this with his feet. Um, and I see what I see what Krola's trying to do. He's trying to draw him in. We heard Gallagher saying try and get him on the right hook counter as he comes in, but that's that's easier said than done. Lomachenko's footwork is perfect at the moment. There was the body shot that Gallagher was talking about. That's what that's the, that was a sort of good sign there for Krola. Yep, nice shot from Anthony Krola there. And he's keeping his poise. But Lomachenko right in front of him, and he's not going to be worried about that as he goes through his routine. I see a lot more fainting as well from Krola. Try and get Lomachenko to lead. And try and counter him. This is good work. The variation there. Body shot following up the uppercut. Lovely work. Sweet uppercut. And it would follow the left hand a few seconds before that from Lomachenko. Finding the gaps now in the Crawler defense. And now Anthony Crawler's learning what it's like to be in with someone like Lomachenko. He wanted to test himself. And here begins the reality. How will he react? Yeah, Lomachenko is just pushing Crawler into each corner at the moment. It's not where he wants to be. Lomachenko with a couple of headshots and a body shot late on in the second. I think troubled Anthony Crawler just as he went back to his corner. Joe Gallagher kept everything uh, on the right lines. Paul Smith in there as well. Familiar faces to help Anthony Crawler. Lomachenko, as always, has his dad Anatoly in the corner with Igis Klimas and Ras Amber. It's a well oiled machine. Yep. And a well oiled fighter. Yep, not a bad start though from Corolla. You know, he's gone out there, kept nice and tight. He's not doing bad here. He's just trying to work a way out to figure Lomachenko out. He's trying to break through the guard, but Lomachenko is controlling all this at the moment just with his feet. Look at the movement in and out all the time. The distance is perfect. Oh, Thumbs up for the with the left hand. And again from Lomachenko, that's the wand that he utilizes, the backhand from the southpaw stance. And now he's looking as though he wants a stoppage here. He's right on the front foot. And is there any chance of him looking past Crawler or not getting up for it? Not one little bit. That looks the complete opposite. It looks like he wants to make a real statement here. And you can see it. There's real spite in these shots. Look at that left hand, beautiful shot. Krola took it well. It's fantastic stuff by Lomachenko. Yep, shipping some big punishment here, Corolla. Those left hands through the middle and that body shot as well. The uppercut is really taking an effect now. He's been landing that from the opening bell and this is troublesome times here for Corolla. Really upping the tempo and Krola tries to get back with the left hook of his own and he's springing on his own feet, Krola, but he's under sustained pressure here. And it's the skill set and the speed. And as Darren said earlier, levels in boxing. And Crawler, a good former world champion. But at the moment, he looks like he's in with an absolute superstar. Absolutely. I mean, he's showing why he's regarded as pound for pound number one. Going through the gears, the variation, you know, the tempo, you know, he doesn't stay at one pace. And there's a lovely right uppercut there, picking the shots well. Crawler's got weathered this storm now. Get away from them ropes, try and work his way back to the center of the ring. 
Yeah, the problem you got for Kruller is that Lomachenko is forcing him into each corner. He's using that footwork, and now he's starting to unload it with the clusters of punches, and he's in trouble here, Kruller. Big shots, left hook really troubled him. Anthony Kruller, and the referees are already having a close look. Back end of the third, he's going to have to throw something back. He can't. And he's giving him a count. The referee. A standing count. What's going on? Lomachenko thought it was all over. And the referee, Jack Rice, gave him a standing count. Well, all a little bit confusing in there, and the referees give him a lifeline there, giving him a standing count. I think everyone thought it was over. Well, the, he's saying the rope stopped him from going down, but it looked to me there were unanswered punches, and it looked like a stoppage, and certainly that's what Lomachenko believed. Absolutely, he jumped on the corner celebrating there. Two members of the security, I think, jumped in the ring, but that was crazy. At first, I thought he'd given a standing count. Strange scenes. He's saying the ropes kept Crawler up. It'll be fascinating looking back because there were so many shots that went in there. It looked the timing to finish the fight, and Lomachenko was certainly beginning the celebrations prematurely. Referee Jack Rice has let it go on, but Crawler was in massive trouble. Yeah, he was in terrible trouble there. Let's take a look at the action now. We see Crowley using the ropes, bouncing off the ropes, but the shots were getting through. They were going round the gloves. And the problem you've got is, if there's unanswered punches coming, the referee has got to stop it. Did the ropes Stay keep him up? Stay here. It, it seemed that way. I didn't see him touch down. It's just strange. Strange from the referee there. But the only chance or hope that crawler has got now is that Lomachenko had punched himself out but with someone of the... The fitness, the speed, and, and the experience of Lomachenko, I doubt that's the case. And he's come out all guns firing, all guns blazing in this round again. Oh, it's all too much, this, for Anthony Crawley. He's brave, he's defiant, as we knew he would be. But his eye, as well, is reddened. And the blistering array of Loma's arsenal is on full display. And a body shot as well here. And the referee might have to make a more serious decision, and that is to stop the fight. Or the corner. But Crawler is going to go out fighting, and he can't take it anymore. Down he goes inside the first minute of the fourth. That is definitively the end of the fight. And Vasil Lomachenko proves his utter class in dismantling the brave Anthony Crawler, who needs some time here. The paramedics will be tending to him, and our concern is obviously with the wonderful Mancunian, who tried everything. But Lomachenko, way, way, way too good. And he sat upright, Anthony Crawler, but he just was caught in the middle of a storm. And I, I wonder, despite the confusion in the third round, whether actually the fight could have finished there. It was very, very brave of Crawler, and he went back to his corner at the end of the third, but it was just more of the same. And Vasil Lomachenko wanted the stoppage. He wanted it badly. And Anthony Crawler tried. It was fantastic that he took the opportunity. But he has learned, as so many have learned, quite how good this Lomachenko is. He's absolutely exceptional. Um, you know, he looks absolutely amazing there. He's done everything right. But I want to just, uh, you know, I have two criticisms of the referee there. You know, I, I'm not sure what the count was all about at the end of the round. And I, I have no idea why he was counting when Crawler went down then. You know, you could see he was he was gone, you know. It was a bad knockdown. His face is on the floor. The ref starts counting, you know. The referees are in there to protect the boxer. And... Okay, so should first question, should the referee have stopped it 
in the previous round. Yeah, I'm going to tell you now, the referee should have stopped in the previous round. He was unanswered punches, not just one or two unanswered, un unanswered punches, 20 odd unanswered punches. The referee's job is to stop the fight. Corolla was in trouble at the end of that round. He come out in the fourth round. Obviously, Joe Gallagher is going to let him out. He, he had a, a game plan to let Lomachenko come in and try and counter punch him with a hook. But that was unnecessary to go into that fourth round. I think the fight should have been stopped. And it was that was bad to see that, that Corolla took that punishment. And that was a bad knockout. And he still looks unsteady sitting on that stool now. Well, the right hand to the temple and the power there. People are saying he can't punch much, Lomachenko. Oh, wow. He is absolutely brilliant. He really is. And I'm sure Anthony, the first and most important thing is that he recovers and recovers well because that was a nasty finish. But I'm sure he will be the first Down. to take his hat off to the extraordinary skills and accuracy of Vasil Lomachenko, who tonight was on a mission for a knockout. He was. He wanted to prove a point. He wanted to make a statement and he did, uh, done just that. You know, it was clinical. The, the foot speed, the, the, no. the hand speed. I mean, the, the punch variation was exceptional. And, you know, he, he did really did make a statement there. And is that what do you do next? What does he do? Who does he fight? I mean, because I, I just do not see him getting beat again. Yeah, well, there's unifications with Comi, of course, if Mikey Garcia comes back to lightweight, that's another possibility then. Could he go up to welterweight? And that's a huge division with Errol Spence and Terence Crawford, who has a fight with Amir Khan next week. There's so many more options. Remember, he's an actual Ladies featherweight. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of 58 fighter. seconds in round number four. He is the winner by way of knockout and still the unified WBO and WBA lightweight champion of the world, Vasily Lord. Chenko. Round of applause from Eddie Hearn, and I think we all are I will, I will. in awe of this guy, Spencer. As, as fight fans and commentators and former fighters, he's just so good.